so I know this is pretty random since I've only been uploading repair stuff, but I kind of want to like broaden what I or open up what I upload now. And I probably wind up changing my YouTube name as well, just to like I'm gonna still upload repair stuff and discuss like business related stuff, but it's not gonna be as much, nowhere near as much as what it used to be. But just up at the title of the video, I'm a huge wrestling fan. I've been watching WWE since. 05, I want to say. Yeah, 05. I've watched it consistently ever since. Um, I watch it weekly, every single time. I rarely, rarely miss it. That's how much I love this show. Like, I just love the product. I love wrestling. Huge wrestling fan. I watched WrestleMania this past, what, it was like two weeks ago? And people were really upset Cody lost. And people were saying he's buried. He lost his momentum, etc. And I'm just here to comment on that. I personally, the answer, to answer the question to whether he's buried or not, we don't know. No one knows yet. You don't know. We have to like see how it plays out. And some people hate hearing that too. Oh, I didn't want to see how it plays out. He should have won. Like, well, relax, 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 calm down. I think at the end of the day, he's going to get his moment. But it's just not now. And I feel like you, know, you can look at storylines in the past where something similar has happened. Like, look at Bianca Belair when she lost to Becky Lynch in like, what, 20 seconds? From one man handle slam. I would argue that's even worse. Like I remember watching that. And I was like shocked. I was like oh, no fucking way that just happened. <laughs> I was like yo. I was like oh she goes, she's, she's going to kick out. Hit her with the man handle slam. I'm like oh what one. Two. Three. I'm like. I was. I was just like whoa. Like, even then I was like yo they just buried her. But you know, after a while I'm like no. Let me see how this let this plays out. And then I just assumed that at WrestleMania they were going to do the rematch, which they did. And she wound up getting her WrestleMania moment. We, with Daniel Bryan, when Randy Orton cashed in the money in the bank at him. He lost the championship right after he just won it. Ruined his moment. Ruined the champion. People were like, he's buried. Come to WrestleMania. He gets his moment. Kofi Kingston loses that elimination chamber. The crowd was just died. Like, when you, when you hit the three, literally the crowd just like, just went radio silent. The people were just shocked that he fucking lost because we want him to win so bad. WrestleMania, he got his moment. Now, this is a little inverse where he, Cody was at WrestleMania and he didn't get his moment. But once you want to think about it, Cody is no is no story to him winning right now. Like, it's nothing. I know people are like, oh, yeah, he want to do what his dad never did. But that's not a story. That's you wanting to win because your dad never held the title, which is a good motivation to everything. But imagine if somebody's reasoning for wanting to win the title. Oh, yeah, my, my dad never won a title, so I want to win the title because my dad never did. Like, yeah, that's a good goal, but that's not story. It has nothing to do with the story. There's no story for him to win a title right now. And I feel like now you put Cody in a predicament where he is a story to it now. He got screwed out of the win. Now he's trying to work his way back up to challenging Roman Reigns again. Like, let's go over Cody's WWE return so far. He returned last year at WrestleMania. He beat Seth Rollins. Good. He should have beat Seth Rollins. He fought Seth Rollins again. He beat him again. He beat him at Helena's. Now, I would argue that it was terrible look on it was a terrible look on Seth Rollins to beat for him to take an L to Cody Rhodes with a fucked up arm. That to me, I just like that to me. That was the time I was kind of rooting for Cody to lose. Like, the other two times, I was rooting for him to win. But I was like, okay, this is a clear example of, like, there's no he's going to beat Seth Rollins with, like, one arm, basically. And he beat him with one arm. <laughs> like, holy shit. Which huge props to Cody for fighting through that. Because Lord knows if I was in his position, I probably wouldn't have done that shit. But, yeah, he beat Seth Rollins three times. He gets injured, unfortunately. He comes back. Wins the Royal Rumble. He has a few, like, pointless matches on Raw. Like, he does all over the place. Just to, like, you know. Of course, he needs to like make sure he can still compete and stuff like that. He has some matches on Raw. Goes to the main event of WrestleMania, which some of the all-time greats have not done yet. The main event of WrestleMania is a different breed. It's literally like the 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 pinnacle. I know people saying like, "Oh, it's about being WWE champion," but no, main event at WrestleMania. Like that's what even what CM Punk said. Like main event at WrestleMania is just a different type of thing. You could be WWE champion. And still not main event of WrestleMania. It's literally just like the pinnacle. It's the highest you could possibly do. I would argue that some people probably want to be in the main event of WrestleMania before becoming the WWE champion. Like, that's probably on their list because that's like the pinnacle. But yeah, he gets to WrestleMania and he loses. Unfortunate. But I feel like, like I said, we just have to wait it out and see how it plays. I feel like 
for me personally, while I really didn't care who would have won at WrestleMania, I would have been fine with Roman winning. I would have been fine with Cody winning, either or. But it just been like it was just way too easy of a road if you just, you know, you just beat Seth Rollins three times. That's all you really did. The Royal Rumble, you came out number thirty, so you barely had to do shit, and you get the win. I just feel like it's better for long term, long term storytelling. And hopefully he will get his thing at SummerSlam, maybe. I don't know. One thing I feel like, you know, that I need to stop doing as a wrestling fan. Stop trying to assume things. Because I feel like when you assume things and it don't happen, then you get upset. Because, like, oh, I assumed it was going to happen. And I'm gonna go, this is going to be another video, actually. But one of the reasons a lot of people thought Roman was going to lose, one thing I try to do as a wrestling fan is to avoid reports as well. I try to stay away from reports because I feel like it just spoils the experience and it spoils the results. So I try to stay away from reports as much as possible for like pages that like do reports a lot. I usually try to like mute them from my wrestling feed. I don't want to see that shit. I don't want to be spoiled. There was a lot of reports that Roman was going to take a break. Because uh, like when I watch a lot of reactions and stuff like that from WrestleMania, there's like the common reaction. Oh my God, I thought wrestling Roman was taking a break. How the hell did he win? So I feel like a lot of people came in there expecting Roman to lose. Like, oh, yeah, he's going to lose. He's taking a break after this. And so like that. Then when he won, everybody just pissed the fuck off because you came in there expecting him to lose. So, yeah, I feel like he's not buried. At least for right now, he's not. He could be buried in the future. Like, who knows? Maybe three months from now, he could be wrestling. I don't know. Who's an undercard guy? Like, that just he just he could be wrestling like, I don't know. Otis and having a feud with Otis. I don't know. Some like mid card feud. But right now, he's still at the main card. The Brock Lesnar and Cody is probably the top feud right now. He's still at the top of the card. That's probably going to main event WrestleMania Backlash. He's not buried yet. Is it possibly could be buried in the future? Yes. But right now, we just really just don't really know. And I feel like you have to wait it out to see whether he's truly, truly buried or not. Like I gave you examples before with Bianca Belair, Daniel Bryan, Kofi Kingston. And so, I'm pretty sure it's probably more. Those are just off the freaking top of my head that I just thought about. But yeah, you just have to wait. I think we just have to be patient and just let it see it through. And, you know, I feel like Backlash is going to be a big indicator. I'm pretty confident he's going to win against Brock, but you never know. <laughs> you never know what WWE. So, yeah, I feel like, you know, like I said, we don't know. I feel like you just got to keep tuning in. You got to keep watching. And, you know, only time could tell whether he's truly buried. And he's still one of the top stars on the roster. Still, even after taking the L. Like, who's a bigger star besides Roman, of course, than Cody right now? Really no one. What, Sami Zayn's probably the number two baby face right now? I mean, if you really want to argue it, you could say they're tied. One or the other, other. But they're pretty close to each other. Those are the two biggest baby faces right now. Uh, there's no one even close besides them two. Seth Rollins gets a huge pop. Oh, that's another video I'm going to make about the Seth Rollins. You know, apparently he's unhappy or something like that. Um, I just want to address something about the reports. I know this, I don't view reports. I review non-spoiler reports. Like, if it's something that's not going to spoil my experience, then I'll, I'll read the report. But if it's something that's like, that's, that's non-something like that, like Drew McIntyre's thinking about leaving WWE, I don't really care about that type of shit. But yeah, that's it for right now. Hopefully, in the future, we can see. You know, hopefully, I hope, you know, he wins the WWE title in the future. I feel like he deserves it. He really came back. He reinvented his character. I love he did that. You know, I love his shtick. I love his outfit. I love his music. I love everything about him. So yeah, hopefully, he does get it in the future. But like I said, I feel like it's just the best thing for at the time. You got Roman hitting 1,000 days. And no one... I don't care who it is. No, I don't think another superstar or another WWE superstar is going to hit 1,000 days as champion for a very long time. Like, the last person to, what, hit 1,000 some days? The last person to go over, like, eight, 600 days was decades ago. So, yeah, I feel like Roman's earned it. He, most of his title defenses were interesting. He's been carrying a company for the past two years. I think he deserves it, in my opinion. But hopefully Cody gets his moment at SummerSlam, maybe next WrestleMania. Who knows? But I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know your opinions on the subject in the comments below. And enjoy the rest of your day.